Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Time Force badge from Power Rangers Time Force, obviously. Uh, before we get started on the toy, I just really quickly wanted to take a look at the box, because this is a rare one I actually have the box for. Alright, just to take a quick look at the box for nostalgia's sake, you know, I always really liked these boxes. The kind of enclosed boxes, you got a picture of the Morpher, shows a bit of how it works. I like how it says Morpher worn by all Power Rangers, even though it's not a Morpher. Like, they're clearly trying to capitalize on it being a Morpher for it to sell more, but then they put Badge, like, you could have at least put Badge Morpher. I mean, not that I want that, but just for the sake of marketing consistency. I always really liked these, like, in-suit shot of them all lined up, especially early on in the season, because it was always super exciting when they were all new and mysterious, and you didn't know who they were yet before they debuted. I don't know, I always just really liked it. Um, and then they used to hang from here, and you got the logo and stuff like that. Mine's a little bent the way it was sent to me. And on the back, just like the same picture you got already. Um, and then like a bigger image of the team right there, which I think looks really cool. Unfortunately, there's like tape over it, which obstructs it a little bit. But if I rip it off, it'll ruin the image completely. Um, but, you know, I just really like that uh, suit art on there. Or I guess suit like production shots. And then you got the story up there too, which is neat. Anyway, I just wanted to highlight that because I really miss that old style packaging that Bandai used to use and it's very rare for me to have that. Uh, but to get started, uh, this is kind of interesting because we have a like wrist attachment for this, which I'm going to be honest, if I recall, I don't think they used in the show. I haven't seen all of Time Ranger, so it's possible, but I don't remember them using it in a wrist mounted formation in any way during the Time Force series. But they included this, I guess, to make it more marketable. It's that standard, you know, plastic strap with the Velcro, this is pretty, you know, you know, nice and not too used, and you just loop it through here, and this is just a plastic piece, and you can see where it attaches right here. Um, there's two little pegs here which will line up here, and then there's these two little sort of rectangle areas here where this will line up, and you just snap it on there. It's super easy uh, to take on and off. I thought when I first got it, it was going to be a sliding mechanism, because sometimes ones like that have a sliding mechanism, but it's just a, a you know, plug-in. And it's easy to detach, but just be careful. Make sure you get a good grip on it so you don't yank it off recklessly and break one of these bits. I just found this interesting because, like I said, I don't remember it being used, and I find it funny that they included this to sort of make this seem more like a morpher, because like on the box it literally says a morpher used by all the rangers, and yet they didn't include it with the Lunar Wolf's morpher in Wild Force, despite the fact that he actually actually had it wrist mounted for storage, but I just wanted to talk about that because that was interesting. But so yeah, this is the Time Force badge used by the Time Force police. We see it when they're about to arrest people, when they make people smaller, not people, but you know, the monsters when they put them in their little action figure prisons. And I think it looks pretty nice. It's got that chrome finish to it, which I think looks good here because it makes it look all official. It's got a very alien look to this. You got words on here. This was some early Pat Ranger foreshadowing. It says Hal Panger, um, and this says Hal PD. I don't know who Hal is, but he seems pretty important to SPD. And up here this says sit. I don't know, like with a C. But yeah, I don't know what those are supposed to mean. I think this is, is just Japanese something or time for something. I don't know. I'm, I'm an idiot. So, but I think it looks pretty good. It's a pretty solid it's a pretty solid size. The box just fell over in the background. And like it doesn't feel like it's too small in your hand. The, the one in the show might be a little bit bigger, like the prop they use. But if it is, it's just not too much of a difference because this honestly feels like a little badge you could use and, and I appreciate that. I like that the silver paint here actually like is a nice kind of shiny silver. Like it's obviously not chrome paint silver but it's not like a dull gray. It just overall aesthetically looks nice and I think that's really great for Time Force or Time Ranger fans that want this for cosplay or pretending to arrest people in public or just you know displays. The sounds on it are pretty basic and minimal. It really only has two sounds on off switch back here. You get that sound when this pops open, and you can see this little design in here more when that opens up. And I like the little kind of compound blue there. I think that looks nice as well. And you get those sounds. And that's pretty much about the it. I'm actually really fortunate that this works because when I got this, I actually got this from eBay. This wasn't something I always owned. The batteries were exploded, and I had a hard time getting it to work. But luckily, just in time to film this review, it worked. So praise Bebo for that. And there is also a Time Fire Quantum Ranger one. I don't believe we got that one here. I could be remembering that wrong, but I think that was only in Time Ranger. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is a neat little toy. It's certainly not like, oh my god, this is the best retro toy of all time. But I think it's really cool. And if you're a Time Force fan or a Time Ranger fan, I think it's a neat pickup. The sounds obviously aren't the most amazing thing ever, but I think it looks nice. And it's a nice, nice niche. No, but it's a nice piece of my collection that I'm glad I finally own because I really do like Time Force. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, don't forget, like, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And of course, don't forget to climb the steps and ring that bell to get the notifications for all my videos. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.